Uh, there's been a lot of discussion around apps. There have been a lot of discussions about how technology can advance uh, our efforts to notify individuals, mitigate the spread of COVID-19, and address this pandemic head on. Uh, two of California's best known headquartered technology companies, Google and Apple, have joined together in an effort to provide for exposure notification, not contact tracing, but exposure notification. I this is not contact tracing. This is notification technology. You can choose to participate in leveraging this technology to allow people that you have been in contact with or have been in contact with you to be notified of potential exposure related to the transmission of this disease. If Alice consents for California Notified to anonymously alert other users, uh, that she has likely been exposed in the last 14 days, then Bob gets notified and is directed to information with an alert. It looks a little bit like the one you see up on the screen. You've recently been exposed to someone who's tested positive for COVID-19. Tap this prompt for more information. That more information will lead you uh, to information that's been provided by the California Department of Public Health on what you can do next. So Fully automated, opt-in technology, not contact tracing, does not in any way, shape, or form uh, uh, provide any of your personal information in any part of the process and protocol. Uh, this uh, holds a lot of promise. I don't want to overstate it because you need to get to an adaptation uh, level that is significant for it to have the kind of impact that would be profound, but nonetheless, uh, as you've seen from the pilot at the UCs, it has been effective. And even if we don't have uh, tens of millions of people participating in this program, uh, the more people that participate in it, the more that opt in, the more effective this program can be.